let's go into our first topic where we are talking about genetically modified organisms, better known as GMOs. Sawa, sawa. Okay, the difference between chakula ambayo iko genetically modified na ambayo iko organically produced or grown ni kwamba the genetically modified food it's actually ni tamu. Yaani no, um, tuseme tu kweli. Umeona venye nimefika mpaka hapo no. ku explain uko na ingia kwa ni tamu. Ni tamu. Haiwezi kwa. Wewe ungeulizwa. No, ani ngoja ngoja ngoja. Wewe ungeulizwa ungekula kuku ya kienyeji ama ya kenchi? Kienyeji. Kienyeji. <laughs> The leaf is very big. You can see it's not naturally. I'm a cook professionally, and uh, I will only see the difference when I cook. Like if you cook, if you like now, if you get spinach, which is uh, the, which has the chemicals, take it to a freezer, leave it for one week. Then it's so bitter, like an herb. That's not organic. Wakati unakula, if um, like skumawi kiyama spinach, ni ni generic generic kind of. Um, imekuzwa na uchukue siku mwingine ya ime, ime grow organically you tell the difference in the taste even the smell when it's uta, gani, 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 uta, uta, tamu, uh, yeah. ia kienyeji mm. unasikia ile ladha ya sukuma yeah. hata kama hakuna nyama una unajua ukimeza hiyo ni sukuma a food security is very low na ukiangalia uh, GMOs if you were to actually adopt kwana food ambayo iko genetically modified we would be able to secure our food yes okay. we can secure food but what about diseases that we are getting what about the cancers that we are getting what about the disorders of the stomach that we are getting are we not going to look at these things and then look at what we are getting the problem we have is we don't have good policies in place and as a government it is failing its people for not empowering them most of the Kenyans go for the, the quantity instead of quality. So if you see a big uh, potato, I think uh, most of them will uh, go for the big one for, yeah. compared to the, the natural one. Yeah. 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 Introduce GMOs officially. Okay, they're here with us. Like, officially, should they do it? They introduce GMOs and then in the hospitals, let them be, bring big machines to eradicate cancer. But are you, are you sure? Are you absolutely sure that cancer is a direct effect of eating genetically modified food? That is what they say. It is That's what they say. But, yeah. <coughs> it's a it is a but you're not very factor. sure. Like, because at the moment they are on the way to gazette the Bio, uh, Biosafety Act, yeah, and its legislation. You mentioned that to nailake your direction. Mm. What are some of the implications on our agricultural industry in case it pass? Organic foods, to say me well, sinaiza kusaidia watu wa Kenya they can live longer. Life expectancy naiza kuwa very high. Lakini yepo angalia the policies they have given to the people who are doing agriculture. That is the reason why young men cannot venture into agriculture. You can never hear of famine in Malawi. How have those people managed? Their population is not oh. like any. No. No, it's not under GMO. We should borrow a leaf from those guys who have already made it and understand why are we failing as a country. Okay, fine. Look at it this way. To say Angalia only agricultural food. Angalia kama ngombe. Ngombe ya GMO ineza kukutolea yogurt, maziwa lala, <laughs> eh, milkshake. Unaona? Sawa huko. Yaani ngombe gali. Serious. Hiyo organic inatoa tu maziwa fresh. Ukiweka siku mbili imeharibika. In fact, umeshapata kwa debate tu. Eh, same. They they value money Kenyans. more than, than the health of of, of Kenyans. Yaani atakaye sema hata kama ngombe, ngombe hii ni ni. Ngombe ya kienyeji unajua maziwa yake, wala hata nyama yake ni damu kushinda nyingine. Lakini unapata hii wana wanaleta grade. Yule haraka we will also be lost for common farmer because some of these things genetically modified will be imported from outside yeah, from then outside. when you are farming using that system i think there are inputs for uh, exported inputs which you are supposed to to use but the common farmer who has no money i think he will uh, suffer a lot mm. 
tumeshusha mtu na tumebeba mwingine na tunaendelea na madai yetu hapa kwa matatu the government should involve all Kenyans to air their views on whether we should introduce this system of uh, genetic, genetically modified uh, food or we should uh, continue using what we are, the natural food. The, the government we have in place, they don't take into consideration anything that you feel, whether it is good or not. Just like to the law. I, I mean, they did not they consult, consulted they never us. consulted yeah, they never us, and we are the consumers of yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alright, so, so right about now, I want us to watch a short clip and boy, I'm going to this topic. GMO is, or a plant, or say an animal, is one that has its genetic makeup uh, changed. What a GMO, a genetically modified crop, will do is that it will have those characteristics that will prevent it from being adversely affected. In Kenya, we've not had enough research to be able to be sure that if we bring GM crops here, our population will be safe. We're not really cautious about how we introduce GM crops into our society. What will happen is that we will find a situation whereby the balance will be distorted and we'll find uh, some, some natural ecosystems being imbalanced and it will bring a problem. The fact about GM crops, ideally, is that it's been mentioned as this the, the it's been mentioned as the solution for the food security issue that we, are, we see affecting our country a normal african farmer that we used to know who would plant his maize and be able to take some of the of the seeds that come out of it and store them for the next harvest is not going to be the same farmer of the the, the the coming few years that farmer will be lost and now there'll be a farmer who every day before he plants his food has to go to a shop to buy his next seeds to be able to produce and that is a that's a system whereby we're not we are actually although we are creating uh, a high return on this other end uh, we are locking the farmer into a cycle of poverty let's look at some of the benefits kwa sababu kila kitu hizi kakuwa ni mbaya entirely kama sukuma za gmo ni kubwa sana sukuma moja si sukuma wiki ni sukuma month like the other benefit now na na kwa wale kwa wale ambao wanauza wanapata pesa kwa haraka finance there will be mass production compared to the whatever because they grow very fast and large numbers i mean production food production will increase food will be plenty food will be plenty lakini na wajenga ma hospital mingi yeah there will be no environment will be very clean yeah Unless the government is willing to invest quite a lot to at least make sure a certain generation understands that the, the, the theories behind GMOs. out of market, if you go and grow maize in a, in a, in a greenhouse, na ule mtu mwenyako you are sinigisu, you are dorit, ama kitale, atapata wapi market because people will be running for the GMOs. And I think once the law is passed, yeah, I think the government will take control of it because what now they'll do, they are going to change the seeds. You no longer fight the, the natural seed. They will dominate all the GMOs. So, the government, when, once that law is passed, I think that is where the control should be. It shouldn't be passed. But uh, somewhere in uh, Pokot, we waste uh, irrigation scheme. They are uh, growing organic maize there. Na inaku, na ina, ina, ina toa pesa mingi, na watu wanafaidika, na watu wanapata kazi. You see? Lakini, government, I, I go there to support something like that in other areas. It is semi arid. GMOs any genetically modified food, I require a lot of water. No this than our maji. But what's not in a GMO uko. If that is the thing we are paying the fair. Maji na zafika no no this time. Let's see say chenyangilo na fanya. Kama ngi fanya everywhere. She's been in Kambani, I'm a fanya, I'm a nini lima ma boholes. She can go to northeastern and lima ma boholes. Kama tunge tume pita njia ya naroko. We can see nini ni ngano ikinyimsi wa maji. Very green. Naroko is a same area. Very, nice. very, very nice. green. Yeah. If we can do it in Turukana, Pokot, northeastern, all those areas. Eh? 
at least ingetusaidia kushinda kusema tuende kutengeneza sukuma kwa kitchen social. In conclusion, tunasema nini kuhusu either to introduce genetically modified food or to keep our organic food. What are we saying? Government, yes. please let Kenyans know which are these GMOs, what is this GMO, which bag is it, ama which snake is it, which is this DMO. Just teach Kenyans what this is, and food. And they should yeah. be branded mm -hmm. even in supermarkets. Yeah. We get the plans that this is an organic remo... Uh, yeah, uh, labeling. Yeah, yeah that label should, should be there. Yeah. So that when I go, I get the choice myself. I want the GMOs, I want the organic ones, like that. As much as the GM, 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 GMOs will come, please let's go the organic way if you can afford to. Kenyans have a voice and according to what we've heard in the Matatu, it's not, people are not very inclined to come away with GB towards the gym. No, 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 quick fixes, no. big chicken, big tomatoes, no. Kuna watu ambao wana, taste is better than, they see enhanced taste, ili ya kenye. I'll see you. No, I think she the name, yo Gina. If people have a problem with Kuzita Jemo, Razita Devi, Razita Kevo. That's not Razita. a problem, baby. You are not going to find it. your problem. Problem is that you are manufactured. That is your sasa. Hi, on the morning, I want to hop a comatato. That is your JB. Yes. Like, we are taking it to the streets. Taking it to the streets. I am going to the streets. No, I am going to the streets. Matatu. You are not going to be able to live in the streets. You are not going to be able to live in the the grow, the babos in a toilet book panda and boga, the babos are Kenyans in a grow pole pole, and the cozy pattern of a big can. The Kulingana and Chimango will and Angana Apa. See the pattern of the person who knows your Kenyans. The Ambazo and Naweka chemically is squeezing yours con as in a letter of conjoming. Boga come a Kenyans, Niboga and Zurisan. See to my penda ya Kenyans. You know, you are Kenyans, I know chemical yoyote. Hata watu wa kitambo si una, unaona walikuwa naishi longa juu ya hizi chakula ya kienyeji. Maoni yangu naonelea chakula hili ya watu wa samani ilikuwa mzuri kuliko hii kwa saa hizi. Mimi napenda food za kienyeji sababu zinafanya mtu unakuwa na nguvu, hauzeiki haraka, na unakuwa strong. Matatu. Okay, that's the voice of the people on the streets JB. Yeah. Diverse, um, eh? Umeona ule mtu anaviita na give give. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Very good guy. Hi, what are you yeah. talking about? Okay, let's go for a short break. JB will gather your thoughts. We'll be right back. Okay.